a very good morning good afternoon good night whenever you will watch this video so today our topic is pressure gauge which is also known as bourbon tube pressure gauge also which is the mounting of the boiler so in this video we will understand the use of pressure gauge construction of pressure gauge working principle of pressure gauge how it is used each and everything so without wasting any time we will start this video i hope you are ready with your pen and paper so that you can note down the important points now supposing uh, such type of question will be asked in your examination that uh, write down the working principle of uh, pressure gauge or burden tube pressure gauge then how will start to write first of all you will draw this type of figure then uh, first sentence would be what that uh, pressure gauge is a mounting which is located on the uh, body of the boiler or on the shell of the boiler and pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure of the steam which is present inside of the boiler or you can say like this that pressure gauge is such a device or such a mounting which will indicate the pressure of the boiler or pressure of the steam which is present inside of the boiler now after onwards we will write the construction so in construction how you can write so first of all you will say that that uh, pressure gauge that is your pressure gauge that pressure gauge is connected with the steam portion on the boiler so that is your boiler drum and on the boiler you are connecting the pressure gauge on which portion on the steam portion after that that the steam portion of the boiler is connected with u tube so you can see that that is your u tube now u tube is connected with one plug now use of that plug is what when you will open this plug at that time inside of the pressure gauge whatever dust dirt and scalings are there that dust dirt will be removed that means plug is used for cleaning purpose of the pressure gauge after that this u tube is connected with one stationary socket that stationary socket is connected with this type of a c tube and this c tube is known as burden tube now why it is known as burden tube because burden tube means what if you will take a long length of hollow tube that is your long length of hollow tube and if that hollow tube is formed in any shape then this type of tube supposing that long tube i have made in this type of shape so that long hollow tube is known as burden tube over here long tube is made in the shape of what in the shape of c so that is why this long tube which is in the form of c is known as burden tube after that that the burden tube is connected with one link so that portion is known as link now that link can move in upward as well as in downward direction that link is connected with one sector this portion is known as sector now on one side of the sector some teeth are constructed that is why that sector will act as a rack rack and pinion maybe you have known so that the sector is uh, known as rack also now the rack is connected with one small gear the rack is connected with one small gear on which also some teeth are constructed and that small gear is known as pinion after that that pinion is connected with one pointer so that is your pointer and that pointer is located on one dial so that is your dial and on the dial some markings are there in terms of pressure like uh, in uh, newton per mm square or in terms of bar or in terms of pascal etc over here that pinion is mounted on the spring that portion i have uh, mentioned over here so that pinion is mounted on one spring spring will do what it will apply the restoring force on the pinion so that pinion will achieve its original position and pointer will also achieve its original position so this is all about the construction now we will start with the working principle of uh, that the pressure gauge how we can measure the pressure of the steam with the help of this device so first of all steam will enter in the u tube and steam will pass from this uh, stationary socket and entered in the burden tube now when steam will entered in the burden tube at that time what's happen inside of the burden tube pressure is high and when inside of the burden tube pressure is high so burden tube will try to stretch like this or you can say like this burden tube will try to become straight 
Why? Because inside of that burden tube pressure is high. So burden tube will be stressed and it will try to become straight like this. And when burden tube will become try to when burden tube will try to straight at that time it is connected with link. So that link will move in the upward direction and this portion of link will move in the downward direction. Due to that, that rack will move in the downward direction. When that rack will move in the downward direction, rack is connected with one pinion. So when rack will move in downward direction, so pinion will move in the clockwise direction like this. I hope you can understand what's happened when burden tube inside of the burden tube when steam is present. So pressure inside of that burden tube is increased. Due to that, that burden tube will try to stretch and become straight. At that time, that link will move in the upward direction. So this portion of link will move in downward direction. And as it is connected with that sector or rack, rack will move in the downward direction. So when rack will move in downward direction, so that pinion will move in the clockwise direction. And as pinion is connected with pointer, so pointer will also rotate in the clockwise direction like this. So pointer will indicate how much pressure is present inside of the boiler. Now uh, that the pinion is connected with the spring as I told you. So when inside of the burden tube pressure is less. At that time initially on the spring which type of force is there in this direction force is applied. So that uh, pointer will move in this direction in clockwise direction. So that is your force applied force. And due to that applied force, what's happened? Restoring force will create in the opposite direction. So when the pressure is less, pressure is less, means now spring will release its restoring force. And when spring will release its restoring force, so what's happened? Pointer will achieve its original position or uh, pinion will achieve its original position because initially your uh, spring is coiled in this direction and when pressure is released, so what's happened initially uh, after that uh, your spring will apply the restoring force in the opposite direction in the uh, anti-clockwise direction so that uh, pinion will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction and pointer will achieve its original position by rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is all about the uh, construction and working principle of this uh, pressure gauge. Now I would like to end this video. Once again we will meet with a new topic. Till then read hard, work hard. Thank you.